So you've just found yourself on robertspaceindustries.com and you're thinking about getting into Star Citizen. Well, what do you do? What pack do you get? What are the system requirements? Well, I'm here to help you with all of that. As well as even guide you through the first couple of things you can do to start making your way through the verse. This video has been requested by a lot of people and I thought it best to get something on my channel like this so that new people that come to the Twitch channel or come to this YouTube channel can get an idea of what to do and how to do it. So we've gone to the store page. We've looked at the packages available to start with. And you selected the Aurora because you're not a madman. Next, you can choose to add Squadron 42 to your game package. Your game package is your ship, as well as the right to play the game and any other add-ons that come with it. It is li listed in your game package what came with it, as well as things like ship insurance, but we're not going to get into that stuff. Now, if you have decided to add Squadron 42, you can do that. If you haven't, well then, don't worry about it. Next, you move on to the total. Depending on what you've added to your car, your total will be displayed here. Clicking this button will then bring you to your car, where you'll probably find you can't do much. Once you click checkout, it takes you to the sign in page. This is where you're going to want to listen up kids, because if you haven't got an account, this is the most important part of the entire process. Clicking the Inlist Now button will bring you here, to your Inlist Now page. It's sort of like a fill in check form for your immigration to the verse, if you will. This is where you're going to want to come up with your account name. Now these are supposed to be unique so make sure it's something that you actually want people to call you by or something that actually represents who you are then you fill in your email this is pretty obvious this should be your email address something that sig can use to contact you and the email address that you wish to use as associated with your account so that in the future anyone that wants to give you a gift can do so then you've got your password i mean this should obviously be secret don't tell me don't tell anyone make sure it's safe and strong there are a few guidelines you should follow read them as below then you've got your date of birth and your I agree to these things. These are quite important. You need to agree to them or else you can't play. Lastly, the referral code. Now, if you don't know what to type in, just look on screen right now. That's what you should type in every time to make sure you still get your 5000 Alpha UEC and Signo, you have friends. So you've signed up, you've purchased your game package. Now what? Well, now you need to head on back to the main homepage. This is where you'll see the Fly Now button. The Fly Now button will say Alpha whatever, depending on when it is you come to the game. Right now it says 3.9. Make sure you're logged in and click the Download the Game Here button. This will be on the second page. This takes you to a little overview of your entire account. It shows you that you have a game package, and it shows you that you have access to the game. Downloading the launcher is your next step. The launcher is the place to catch up on patch notes, listen to some fantastic music, and also see what's on the com links. It's also the place where you click the big launch game button. Thankfully for new players like you, they actually did a great job of recently introducing the new guide system, which means all you have to do is go to playstarcitizen.com, click on the play button, and then just find a guide for the things you're interested in, whether it's combat, mining, FPS, or trading, either of which I'm happy to help you guys with. But for those of you that just want to get into the game straight away, let's carry on with the video. So this is it. This is Star Citizen. This is your home screen. What can you do? Well, you've got access to different game modes. You've got Star Marine, Arena Commander. You've got options, friends, notifications. But most importantly, you've got the universe. Clicking this will probably take you to your character creation screen if you haven't already created a character. And if you haven't, go on and do that. Now, I wouldn't spend too much time doing it. There are a few bugs that end up resetting your character or changing their race and sex, but I wouldn't worry too much. Once you've created your character, you'll be given options on where to spawn. Now, my screen won't show you this because I've already done it, but please make sure that you choose Art Corp if you want to follow this tutorial to the T. You can also choose which server region you wish to launch on, but we're just going to go with best for now. And this is the game. Exciting, I know, but everyone will start like this. Make sure you hold down your inner thought button, F, and find the get out of bed option, or just do so by pressing Y. This little home away from home is your first experience of the verse and the immersive qualities within it. You can fiddle around with the drawers, you can look at the cupboards and go to the bathroom if you like. But more importantly, this is where you can see what your character looks like and judge whether or not you think you've done a good job. Leaving this little slice of paradise behind is your next step. Head towards the door and find your way out. Take a left and start heading down the corridor. It's at this point you'll probably be overwhelmed by the sheer size and scale of the game as you look out over the balcony window of Art Corp, looking at the train as it carries passengers to and from the space station. 
This is true scale. This is ArtCorp. This is the planet and its buildings. And what we need to do is get you down on the ground. So turn around, head to the elevator, and click the cool button. This is also where you can get a glance at what level you're on in case you're playing with friends and want to meet up first. Head inside the elevator, head towards the elevator buttons, and find the ground floor. Click that and wait. Once you reach the ground floor, you'll be inundated with sounds and visuals, maybe even smells, if this is the future. Finding your way to the exit reveals what is, pretty much, freedom. Now, if you did as you were told, you'll have some extra money to spend. So take a right and head over to Cubby Blast. This will be our first and only shop stop for the entire video, but it's the most important one. This is where you can buy med pens and guns, as well as armor, all in the effort of protecting yourself out on your adventure. It is also where you can buy water. Now, if you also need to buy food, you can do that at some other shops like Casabar. The other thing we can do here is actually try out and inspect some of the weapons on show. You can do this by simply going over to the gun stands, holding down your inner thought button, and clicking inspect. This is where you'll get flirted at by the shopkeeper, and also where you can flirt with your favorite rifle. It's not always the most practical to do things by hand, so head over to one of the terminals, and here you can purchase things in bulk. What we're gonna do is find our favorite weapon, or my favorite, that's the scalpel sniper rifle, Purchase a few of those. Also, make sure you go to the attachments page and purchase some of the ammunition. This is very important if you actually want to use your tools. This is also where you can look at the rest of the armor available to you and on display. You can choose between your arms, legs, helmet, and torso, just like in most standard MMOs, really. But most importantly, we need to head over to Utility and grab as many med pens as we feasibly can. Once you've done this, you're going to want to bring up your Moby Glass. You can do this with the F1 key. The Moby Glass is your most important tool as a citizen. It has access to your missions, your equipment manager, your ship loadout, and your star map, as well as your contact list. But for now, we're going to focus on the equipment manager. Simply click on it. This will bring up your character's personalized infantry. From here, you can change the way he looks, what armor he's wearing. You can unequip your undersuit and get into your civvies if you want. But we're going to focus on just quickly putting our weapon on our back. Do this by cycling to the weapons tab, finding your recently purchased gun, and clicking the equip key. Don't forget, however, you will also have to equip the, the ammo. Now, for each ammo you purchase, it will take up one slot. So, click on a spare magazine slot, find the ammo, click equip. Whatever you do, don't forget to click save changes right at the end, as this is what actually applies the changes you decided to make. So now we're going to leave Cubby Blast and actually head over towards the spaceport. To do this, just turn around, head out the door and turn left. We'll now go down the alleyway that we avoided earlier. It is at the end of this corridor that you will come to the very center of what is Art Corp's capital. You shall be meted by beautiful structures and imagery and sounds as well as the sheer scale and size of the buildings around you. Now, try not to get too distracted by all the pretty sounds and wonderful colors. We need to head to our ship still. So to do that, we're gonna take a right and head down this pathway. Heading down here, we'll take a left, and this will take us on the straight and narrow path to the spaceport. Now, if you ever do get lost, just keep an eye out for the signs. Sometimes they're clear, sometimes they're not. But as you can see, we are heading to the spaceport. Down here is the tram. Now, every capital city seems to have trams nowadays, so make sure you find the right one, get on it, and just look at the pretty sights. Some trams might even inform you of how long they're gonna to take to get to their destination. This one did not, but if we just look out the front window, we can see how close we are. I'll let you enjoy the view. Once we've arrived at the spaceport, just leave the tram and head on out. Take a right 
and just follow the signs to the spaceport. This will lead you through the customs area. It will also lead you to the finds terminals. These are indicated by their little scales above them. Here, you can pay any fines that you somehow managed to, you know, get. You're a naughty boy. And right next to these, we have the ship terminals. These are the same wherever you go, and this is where you select what ship you want to spawn. You can also rent ships here. You can also sometimes even buy ships if they're available to you. Now, I've gone and taken the liberty of renting an Aurora. I've done so so that our experiences here today on the video are as closely related to your experiences as possible. We're going to click the retrieve button, find out what hangar it's at, in my case hangar 3, and start making our way towards the elevators. Now for us, luckily, the path is identified on the floor here with the arrows. Once we've passed the ship terminals, we'll end up where all the elevators are. And also some weird standing on chair pedestrians. Click the call elevator button as standard, make your way inside of the elevator, and then here, select the hangar that your ship spawned at. For us, it was Hangar 3. And if this is the first time you played the game, this will also be the first time you get to see your very own ship. As beautiful as she might be to look at though, we have to get up inside. So make your way to the door, hold down your interact key, and click enter ship. The animation shall bring you into the ship for you. No need to worry about jumping or climbing. This is now the interior of your ship. This is your safety net. This is your personal cargo space. This is all you have for now. The bed is at the rear of the ship where you can log off and log out if you wish. And at the front of the ship you have your captain's chair. Just highlight the chair, click on it, and click enter seat. It is from your captain's chair that the rest of your life in the verse begins. Use your interact key and find the flight ready button, or just click R. Once your ship's powered on, you can see all the MFDs light up. These are what you use to interact with the world around you and feedback information to you as the player. It is also from these terminals that you can interact with the landing services. Do so by simply clicking on the communications key, the little symbol that looks like a Wi-Fi symbol, and requesting takeoff. If you're having issues or, for example, you can't see the landing services on your MFD, just go to your comlink tab, friends, and request landing services from there. Once you've left the atmosphere of ArtCorp, you're going to want to open your Moby Glass, go to the navigation map, or press F2. We're going to find the planet Hurston. Hurston is where we're going to start our journey today for this video, and it's where you're going to do your first couple of missions, as the payout from this location is much better than in other areas. So find Hurston, click on the planet, and click Set Route. You can then spool up your quantum drive by pressing B, pointing at the planet, waiting for calibration, and then blast off. Hold down B to do this. Arriving at another planet for the first time can be quite exciting. But try not to get too distracted, soldier. We are here on a mission, and that mission is to get you started in the verse. So open up your Moby Glass by pressing the F1 key, and we're going to take you to the Missions tab. The Missions tab is the one on the bottom right. Go into your personal tab, delivery, and look for any delivery that goes to the orphanage. The payout for these is usually around 15,000 alpha UEC. Best advice here is to collect as many of these missions as possible. Make sure they all go to the same point. In our case, that's the orphanage. Right now, I've got two of them. That's 30,000 alpha UEC for practically one mission's worth of work. Now, it's not always easy to see where you've got to go in the verse, but this is why you have markers all over your screen pointing you to where you should go. Just follow them, and you'll arrive here at what is pretty much just a scrapyard. To leave your pilot seat, we do it the same way you do getting out of the bed. Either use your inner thought or press Y. We're then going to head to the back of our ship, find whatever door we want to get out of, and click Exit Ship. At this point, we're just following the markers on screen and going to the pickup location. This is usually a big red container of sorts with a digital display. Click the receiving arrow and just wait for your box to arrive. And here it is. 
hover over it with your inner thought, click carry, and bring it back to your ship. Don't worry, you can still climb inside of your ship whilst carrying the box. They fixed this recently to allow people like you who are just starting to actually complete missions and make money in the verse. Repeat this process as many times as you can, depending on how many boxes you manage to grab missions for, and bring them all back to your ship. Place them down one by one, get back in your pilot's chair. Now open up your nav menu by pressing F2, that's the shortcut key, and find Arc Corp. That's where we spawned by the way. We're going to go to one of the moons, and the moon we're going to is Lyria. Lyra. Lyria. Doesn't matter how you want to say it, that's where we're going. We're going to follow the exact same process and steps we did to get to Hurston, spawning our quantum drive, setting our nav beacon, and jumping straight there. At this point you should be very familiar now with the flight controls. Practice them in your own time, practice them in the safety of open space. Whatever you do, just make sure you get familiar and comfortable with the ship you're flying, how it feels, and your controls. Now, all you've got to do is get out of your seat, turn around, pick up one of those boxes, and head indoors. Be careful, make sure you have your helmet on. I didn't. If you ever do forget, just hold down F and right click and you'll see the circle wheel come up. Equipping your helmet is the leftmost option. Now, just like when we collected the boxes, we're going to follow the on-screen waypoints and place these boxes on the appropriate shelves in the correct position. Sometimes it might even be friendly to remove your box after you've placed it, just in case it messes up your future missions or someone else's. Be a good person. Do that. Doing so will reward you with the mission complete bonus and 15,000 Alpha UEC. Think about it, you bring three boxes, that's 45,000 Alpha UEC for five minutes of work. Now, there are other things you could do as a new player. You could go out and do claim missions. You could do some combat. You could fight prospectors, do bounty missions, do whatever the hell you like, really. It doesn't matter as long as you're having fun. The point of this video is just to show you what you should do if you actually want to get a head start in this game. Because once you've made your 45,000, 47,000, 50, 60, 70,000, you can start pushing into other avenues like trading or mining. Now, I'm not going to make a video on those subjects here today. If you do want them, let me know in the comments down below. And Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial entry guide into Star Citizen. For the most part, I hope this has helped you new players. Those of you that thought this game was too expensive to play or too hard to run or too complex to understand. Remember, this game is about freedom and it's about what you choose to do as a player. I highly recommend that once you've gotten used to the game and the controls and you understand what it is you like, that maybe you have a look at different ships. Maybe you have a look at joining an organization. Maybe you have a look at getting into some bigger things with friends. And if you're thinking about getting into the game with friends, come check me out. Come check out the live stream, come check out the community here on Discord, on Twitch, even here on YouTube perhaps. If you want to get involved with the game, I highly recommend finding people to get involved with. As always, links are in the description. So have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.